Got a lot of interesting things happening. As you guys might have expected, Tier 6 Pets, the long-awaited Tier 6 Pets, are now in Black Desert Mobile Global. And the thing that changes from Tier 5 to Tier 6 is not their innate skills. Skill stay. The skill stay as is, and you do not get an extra skill. Uh, it's the same skill that you had when you were uh, um, you know, you know, Tier 5. The only thing that changes the max level of each skill is expanded to 15 mm -hmm. rather than 10. So if you have, for this instance, if you got that tier 6 doggo uh, that's at level 1 at the moment uh, for PvP damage dealt, tier 5, you would be able to get that to level 10 and you can't get it any higher. Right. But now you can get it higher, higher, just give it some 15. time, give it some silver, and get it to level 15 max. It's an easy concept. It shouldn't be very confusing to anyone, but to get a tier six pet, uh, obviously it, it, it's as is with any other pet combining, uh, you have to combine with two tier five pets and there's a chance that you fail. And if you do fail, you will get a 10% fail stack. Yes. 10% fail stack. So if you failed a maximum of 10 times in a row without succeeding, the next one will be guaranteed tier six. And I did some testing. I did some testing. Sometimes I did get a 10 stacks. Mm. Sometimes I, 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 yeah, I, achieved, I achieved it without mm. getting into the fail stack. Uh, so if you guys have like 12, 13 tier five pets at the moment, it should not be, it, it should pretty much guarantee you that you would have at least uh, a one tier six pet by the end of the day with other tier 5 pets. Uh, but that's something that you guys can um, count on. And uh, you really want to try to invest in the best tier 5 pet that you have in terms of the, the main skill, especially the tier 5 skill. Uh, if you have APDP on any of those, right. and those would be really nice to have. Yeah, make sure you're happy with what you got before you Yeah. Do it. So th those skills do not change unless you somewhat, uh, for whatever reason, you choose, uh, choose to get new set of skills altogether. Um, likely you would want to stick with uh, a tier 5 pet that you really like in terms of skills, then try to get that to tier 6. Hopefully you guys can get that s soon enough. Alright, let's go to the next page and uh, show you guys another thing that's happening with this. To make your journey into tier 6 much easier, Mr. Patrigio has... The um, Patrigio. You know, he's, he's added some assets to his, uh, to his uh, business. And now he is serving tier two pets and yes. tier three pets. Um, pets for silver. Pets for is silver. It's a thing. Yep. Tier two through three. Tier two to three. And you can spend your stamina on this. If you don't want to use your stamina on Great Desert, you can choose to use it on doing business, doing trades uh, with Mr. Patricio. And you can get a tier two or tier three pet uh, from his shop. If you just keep refreshing and see what you get. You see that, uh, if I can move my head real quick. <laughs> I got it in my first try. I got the tier three pet in my first uh, try. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that's what I wanted to show. This is obviously a test environment, but it's the same rate, same rate. So I don't think it's going to be in intensely difficult. No, no. Immensely I, difficult. In my to testing get. too, I saw it several times. Yeah, so it's, it's, I don't think it's immensely difficult to Even see a tier a two, day. the tier three pets mm. uh, from Petrugio. So uh, definitely worth uh, going in for that. Can you bargain for the pet? Let's see. Um, uh, the bargain's grayed out. It's grayed out, so obviously yeah. not. So this is a, this is the set price. You can reserve it, obviously. That's with any items, but I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't think you can bargain. And it's grayed out, so probably not. Uh, but yeah, try to get pets this way to help you on your journey to getting a tier six pet if you don't have one by the end of today. Uh, loot pet win. I don't think that's a thing for <laughs> for now. Uh, we do have this thing for Patricio. He has new business. Visit him, make him feel like you know he's in the game. Um, make him feel yeah, like he's in. Yeah, yeah he's he, he's still he's still got he needs, the game. Yeah, he needs to pick me up. Yeah, mm. just um, let let it, let him know that he's he's still he's still around. Okay, so this is a good update for everyone. Hopefully, to try to get. If you don't have three tier five pets yet, please get there. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get on it. Get on that one. Now it's much easier to do so. Uh, try to get there if you can, because silvers are like immensely abundant nowadays. Oh, right? dime like, a dozen. Like, well, dime a dime because it's money. So. <laughs> dime a dozen. <laughs> um, yeah. 
the, it, it's, it's quite easy to get silver nowadays, so definitely you can try this way to try to get there. All right, so let's go to the next part of the update. Uh, and this, when we posted this one sentence where we said we're going to have a relic update in tomorrow's patch. And we posted which, that update yesterday, right? Which is today now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, we posted that yesterday and people were like, on Discord, they were making all these crazy speculations <laughs> as to what the word relic even means. Like, oh my gosh, are they going to release a pink relic? Are they... Are they even talking about the relic at all? Are they talking about like maybe like the Node War oh, Siege War relics? The relics. Are the relics? Uh, or, 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 or are they even going as so far as to change something in Ramanus to change the relics within there? I feel it. I mean, like people are going, speculating all around Rampant. because that word relic is used quite widespread uh, they, in the game. Yeah, it means uh, more than a couple things. What do you think about that as as, as one of the localizers? <laughs> we, the, the relic means a lot of things in Black Desert Mobile. No, we've talked about it, and yeah. there's been a couple more things that have come up. Really, that could have been that possibly translate from the Korean as relic. Wow! And so, as many as there are, we have saved. Mm. We, you see, you saved we've made sure, mm. like, no, we can't do this again. This yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the two. There are two things. Two things. I, mean, I think three to be exact, but two things for sure. Uh, first thing. If you look right here. Oh, your hand is gone. Because the, the relic is just so strong, it, That's it. It, it, it ate up my finger. It cut and gave you your hand back. Yeah, it's, it's quite nice. Hmm. It's a very nice thing. So th this, this abyssal relic, that is, a level, that is the base abyssal relic. That is not a plus one, it's not plus two. Uh, abyssal relic is now stronger. Hmm. So you guys probably got one Abyssal Relic from the Calphium Ball event. It just, when we just gave away free stuff like that. Uh, if you happen to have another one, good for you. You should see uh, an immediate jump in your CP uh, because the Abyssal Relic um, just got stronger. So yeah, that's free CP for everyone. Hopefully everyone, if you guys have joined us since Calphium Ball. So that's that. Uh, Abyssal Relics are, are, are a bit stronger now than it used to be. And you said uh, there was another one? Yeah, the second one is No, no, your hand's gone again. Right there. Yep. It's right there. So uh, when you're enhancing... Oops, way up there. When you're enhancing Mystical Relic, when you're enhancing the Orange Relic, um, I personally found it very difficult sometimes to get from base to plus one. Oh, totally. I failed many, many times. Yeah. Uh, now you won't have it nearly as much. The enhancement rate, the enhancement rate for uh, Orange Relics has gone up Immensely is is what is, 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 is the word is the word is the word that was described in the past. <laughs> if you quote it, it means not immensely. Immensely, it was it was enhanced immensely uh, <laughs> of the enhancement rate. So uh, actually immensely. Yeah, I, that's what they said. That's what they said. So I haven't tested it out, so I can't I can't prove it to you guys. But it said immensely. It said immensely. Um, so we will we will try to. I'll show you guys that the relic has been improved that way. So if you have a bunch of orange relics that you haven't up upgraded yet, I think it's a good time to shoot, shoot, uh, do so. And now I kind of regret that I wasted like 10 uh, upgrades that I failed probably most of the time. But now, now, now it's a little bit better. And hopefully you guys have fun with that. And the rest of scroll requirement rate, uh, the requirement amount. For restoration For scrolls. restorations for the mystical relic uh, enhancements. That also has been adjusted to to people's benefit. So, so lower is what I heard. Okay, is what I heard. So those are the things that have changed, and let's go to the, the next page. Got a couple of guild updates. Um, now, uh, now, 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 uh, we do need to understand what's going on here. Um, first thing that changed within the guild update uh, is the, the the hidden banquet. Yeah. The hidden bank where you kill a bunch of monsters and you get rewards. But you can only get to the hidden banquet. Obviously, if you win the siege you war. Win the siege war. Yeah. But the hidden banquet in itself has gotten a buff. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the monsters within it, they give off a lot more. Mm. A lot more is what they said. A lot more EXP than before. Gives us a lot, lot more exponentially. EXP. Exponentially. Yeah, exponentially more uh, EXP than before. And uh, the item drop rates have increased for better types of items. 
Right. So, so the, the more... So it's more rare, relevant to what yeah. you need. So the, the more valuable items that you probably were not able to get that likely before, uh, it's a little more, it's a little more uh, higher, it's a little higher than what it used to be. So hopefully you guys might be able to find a little more better rewards than before mm -hmm. off of the, the hidden banquets. So that's the change to that. And uh, obviously you said to get to hidden banquet, you have to go through the siege war. And node war is also ha um, connected with that. Mm. Node war siege war has gotten some change as well. Uh, the amount of the rewards you can get in guild funds and the silver and all that, uh, that has gone up. In mm -hmm. addition to, there's a, there's a new type of uh, there's a new type of currency that they're giving out oh. uh, as rewards for winning no right. war and siege war, That's right. and that is going to be called. That's the, uh, the Medal, Medal of, of Honor. Honor. Medal, Medal of, of Honor. Honor. Okay, so if we go to the, the next page here, I'll show you what the Medal of Honor can be used for. You, oh God, it it it, it was hiding. Uh, producer, can we can we get can we take that the uh, belly and patch notes just hide it for a little bit? Is that possible? Uh, just so we can see that that yellow box. They must see. Yeah, oh, thank you. Good. Thank you very, there very it much. Is. Thank you very much. So, Santa Man. Uh, Santa Man, see, he is the best, the best Medal of Honor trader in all of Black Desert Mobile. And potentially player. No, 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 he, he, because he's in Vilia. He, he does his business in Vilia. I said it because Medal uh, of Honor. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like to support my villain uh, businessmen, so um, so please do not visit any other uh, other people uh, in Black Desert Mobile to trade your Medal of Honor. No. Please go to Velia. Please visit Mr. Sam Tomanzi. He's a wonderful businessman. Uh, he he gives you a great prize because it's the same prize as anywhere else in BDM. Um, yeah. So Sam Tomanzi, just go to him, uh, and this guy. you'll be able to. If we go to the next page, I think I'll be able to show exactly what's for sale. Let's go to the next page. Next page. Ta -ta -ta. No! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! 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 That was some transition right there. So I might have to that move away a little a bit. Shocker! Uh, so wait, this way, this way, this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. If you look on the Baby top, elephants. there's this thing called the, the faded warrior statue. That's sort of like a a, a fun box. It's like a fun oh, box. So, a box of fun. Yeah. So you you buy that with 100, 100 uh, medal of honors, and you might when you when you open that statue. Uh, you might get more than 100 Medal of Honors. So it's like you paid 100, open the statue, and, and then, then you find yourself. Yes, yeah, no, you can get more. And then you can get more. Mm -hmm. And there are also other items within that chest, uh, within that statue you can get. So it's like a fun box. It's like a fun box. You can buy once a day uh, for a lot of active users on guilds. Uh, th this is something that you don't want to miss each day. Uh, try to get that. And you can also get inscribed glyphed. And you can get a yellow elephant, you can get an orange elephant. Yeah, you can get a war elephant to start, mm -hmm. but you want to ditch that as soon as you can get the baby Ooh, elephant. Don't be mean to the elephants. Oh, the uh, baby elephants I mean, are great. But you just said to ditch them. No, well, I mean, you can only use one at a time. Come on, okay? Don't and and then there's just like this one thing at the bottom here, you might not be able to see it. It does say shadow chaser outfit chest. Uh, you can get that. Ooh, hiding. And that I think costs like 10,000, mm. 10,000 um, Medal of Honors. But yeah, so you can get that and just basically all you have to do is um, just collect the Medal of Honors with each Node War and Siege War sessions. Uh, then yeah, just get some stuff off of it. Obviously this is going to be good for people who really want the glyphs. Mm. Uh, this is obviously one way to get it. And other things are very good for Great Desert. You got the, the war elephant and the baby elephant right here. And you get a, a nice outfit at the bottom as well. All right, so um, let's go to the, the next one. Let's go to the next page. And yeah, we have some updates regarding the world boss fragments. More fragments. More fragments and cheaper fragments. Uh, this is something that's really good for people who wants to craft the rest of the kit with red items. Mm -hmm and maybe people who want to strive towards uh, the pink gears eventually. And yeah, so what you probably notice is, is that the prices are different. It's much lower than it be was before. Um, 11 million, it, I think that was around the park of like 20 something million yeah. before. Uh, so so the much price, cheaper and you can get more than you could yeah, before. Yeah, you can get more than you did before. So you can get five Zarka fragments per week Daily. daily, daily, daily. Oh, wow. Okay, that's different. That's very different. Um, so, yeah, it's daily. Uh, 
Wow, that's a, that's a big piece of information that I just missed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's not weekly. It's yeah. not weekly. It's daily. Uh, so you can pretty much craft pink fairly well, I mean, easier yeah. than, than what it used to be. Fairly easier. Fa significantly easier. Significantly. Yeah, significantly. Fairly easier, definitely. Yeah, yeah significantly easier. Yeah. So um, it's daily. Yeah, it's daily. It's not weekly. Uh, so. If you have silver that's just laying around and you don't know what to spend it on, this is quite this good. One. This is quite good. And it's, it's a lot cheaper than it used to be. And where can you get so much money? Um, Hadoom, Merchant Tree, yeah. Great Desert. Like there's so many things nowadays that you can get silver so easily. Uh, this is actually really good. This is actually really good. So um, yeah, the gear fragments, these are really, really good. Get those. And now we will move on to the thing where we sort of promise that we will give an opportunity to give another uh, primal gear for everyone in Black Desert Mobile. You thought we were ignoring you your thought questions. We were ignoring I saw your and questions. And this is already a good start. This is already a good start. But um, and before we move on to that page, before oh. we move on to it, I, I would like to announce. Well, I would now like you're to announce. Them. No, I would like to announce. I would like to announce uh, that the world boss drops for gear fragments has now doubled. Mm. So if you, you know, if you thought that we were giving away a lot of fragments already through the world bosses, uh, it is now double that mm -hmm. than what it used to be before. So that's also really good. All right, now let's move on to the next page and uh, let's look at this. Um, so you know, we got the event coordinator in our team, and uh, he's been oh, you're about to speak. He, he's, he's been he's been ripping his hair out. Uh -huh. like, um, it's like throwing that hair out somewhere. Wow. Because he already ripped it. Because he That's already ripped it. And, uh, environmentally friendly. Yeah. And um, so, and in the end, he came up with this. All I said, all I said was, we need to find a way to, you know, to give off a second, second primal gear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he knows, he knows that if we just give away so easily without anyone's participation, um, it, it might just ruin the balance. And people in the high CP realms, they mm -hmm. completely understand that. Uh -huh. But we, but at the same time, we wanted to give a fair, Opportunity. I feel for, for everyone. I wish you guys could see his legs because it like, really sells it. Like to, yeah. to 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 get the, the second primal gear, right? Yep. And this is what it came up with, and I, I'm I'm actually very happy with how this all turned out. If you guys remember the El Belucci shop, El Belucci shop, we used to have that thing uh, for season one, season two, season three, all that. It's basically the same thing, but better. But you know, you know, you know that Mr. Petrigio, he's kind of promoting his new business. He invested a lot into it. Now he's using oh yeah, he's really a, lo a lot of his assets for commercials. Stepping up his game. Yeah, he's promotion, the marketing, the marketing actually. This is his marketing scheme. Uh, he just wants you to visit him a lot more often. Uh, so Petrigio, Petrigio, uh, he's got this thing where he's taking over El Bellucci um, as the as the new guy that you, you want to be looking at for months to come. Let's go to the next page, and I'll show you how this works. So all you have to do is collect fragment passes, and look at that. That is so many. That is a lot. That's a lot. So you do the events. You do the events. None of these, none of these are required for you to pay a single penny. Mm -hmm. You just do the events. You just do the events. Holy macaroni, holy mother of, I know, I know. Just. Let's Holy macaroni, mother. Let, let, let's, let's calm down. Let's calm down for a second. And I, and I told you the event coordinator, he, he, he did a fine job with this. He did a fine job with this. Um, and and I, I, I like this better than just simply giving away a primal gear because... Now you can choose. Now you can choose. And, and, and you can choose to not even get a primal gear. You can just get billion red gear. Figuratively, yeah, this, figuratively this speaking. Make you a ton of this red will make gear. make you a lot of red gear as well. All right? So this... Is the thing that we promised. This is the thing that we promised in terms of the second primal gear, the the lucky roll uh, at the end of the year. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. No, this is major. This is it. All right. So do the events over and over again. So you don't want to miss any events that's going to come in the near future. Now, okay. You don't want to miss any events. That's all I'm saying. So you can see that the number of max max exchanges per category is four. If you get tw two twenty five times four. That is 900. 900. So if you have 900 Zarka gear fragments, for example, in addition to your Zarka main weapon, you can craft one primal Zarka gear. And for anyone who's been keeping up on world bosses and everything else, you could kind of mix easier. and match. Even easier. You can get partials and yeah. kind of bring your way up to getting three, four primal gears. Mm -hmm. So I think this is much better than just, 
handing out yeah. a single gear. So what we cal we calculated out, out the numbers of the rewards. So in the at the end of this event, at the end of when this event ends, when when Patricio decides to go home after months and months of journey, um, you will be able to craft one primal gear of your choice. Mm. If you have one red gear to use that as a base material, right? So if you already have, which most people should, which most people should, you should have one red gear that you want to make it into a primal. As long as you have that right now, mm -hmm. these rewards, these rewards, it will be enough for you to get one primal gear. Okay. But just just so you know, just so you know, we're not giving away that many uh, for, uh, the exchange coupons to maybe let you have like you know two, three, four primal gear. Right. We promised one more primal gear, and this is the way it's done. Okay. This is the so way you done. don't see the zero out of four as you being able to max everything out. Yeah. So, so number you will have to yeah. be choosy. Max number of exchanges is four. It's because you can only get four, and you will not be able to get a fifth exchange. Yeah. That's something that you guys need to keep in so mind. So you gotta commit. So whether you want a main weapon, sub weapon, main, uh, you know, armor, it, whatever you choose, you have to choose one if you want to get a primal gear, or you can just do mix and match. Mm. If you can do mix and match, and then you can get a bunch of red gear, mm -hmm. or if you have enough, you know, ingredients to make two based on what you've been collecting so far, you can make two. Mm. But that this is not the this is, this will not give as many ingredients. For you to single-handedly craft two primal gear, it would be for just one. Yes, to drive the point home. Mm -hmm. We we promised the second primal gear. This is it. Okay, that last week lucky draw. That's not it. Okay, just so that you guys you guys understand exactly what's going on with that. Pay pay rise for the event coordinator. That I agree with. Uh, he did a fine job with this. That, I'm pr I'm pretty sure that the pulling of the hair. What was for was for good reasons. Yes, it ended up with a good product. It ended up with a good product. Their baldness has led to your <laughs> benefits. <laughs> you don't want to say that to him when you when you give him get by. I mean, did he really do it? He's probably watching the stream. All I'm saying. All right, so we thank the event coordinator for coming up with uh, for pulling through and making this happen. Uh, I think it turned out great. I think this is exactly what sh should have been done in the first place, and that is our promise kept. Okay. So this is how it's gonna work, and now I need to introduce the first line of events Ooh. that we can get to get those exchange coupons. Let's go to the next page. Let's go to the next Don't page. Fall down. Uh, here it is. It's the Great Desert Daily Missions event. You complete up to 50 times in total. You will be able to get what? 10, 20, 35, and 50. 50. Can we go back a page? Can we go back one page? Is that possible, producer? Yeah, so 50, that's already one exchange. Almost two if you're going Almost for two if you want to go for like the Giath and, and those, the lower kinds. Mm -hmm. You can get two of those. And let's go to the next page. Sorry, 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 sorry from the back and forth producer. But yeah, um, we're not joking around here. We're not, we ain't joking around. So no. if you complete 50 times of these daily missions, that's already one to two exchanges. Mm -hmm. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. It's gonna go faster than it seems. Yeah, it's gonna be faster, but just know, just know that since this, 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 this is a primal gear, it mm. may take a little bit of time to get all these things done. Okay, and the daily missions event, you want to get one purified water each day. So click that free button, and then you'll complete that event. Mm -hmm. uh, you can excavate five times, which is pretty easy. Appraisal, you get a bunch of stuff along the way. So uh, appraising three items is cinch. Piece of cake. Uh, Two hundred, just go for the nagas. Uh, is, is pretty easy. And obtain a dance coins. Five hundred, super easy. Mm. Like if you spend, I think, what twenty minutes mm. max uh, each day in Great Desert. It, based on my experience, that's enough to complete all this quest. Get everything done. Yeah, that's way enough. All right, so that's water, uh, purified water. You don't have to spend the whole forty minutes of it. I think you can spend half of that and still have plenty of time mm. uh, to complete all these all these missions every single day. But you do need to complete it every single day. That's the point. Okay. Um, so this is how you're going to get closer and closer to getting that second primal gear. Uh, you already used the water, purified water today. <sighs> I'm sorry. Well, I mean, you know what? This thing, it's not going to end in the exact time that yeah. you can have the maximum amount to do 50 times. 
there will be some leeway. Historically, yeah. you have more. You have more than enough time. You have to get more than enough done. time. So uh, it's not release. a thing that if you miss a single day of this event, that you're just completely out of luck, and no. you will not be able to complete that 50 times to get that 25 exchange coupons. We promise you. We promise you that won't be the case. And if it seems like that will be the case, I don't know. Something will happen. We'll do something to make it <laughs> a little more fair, but. You can check. You can check the time left on the event. Yeah, on based on our his, based on the history of when we do these stuff, st sort of stuff like this, it make it, they made it easy enough that you can do it fifty times. Okay, all right. Free water, yes, get that free water. Um, it, one water won't hurt. I don't think so. But just make sure to do it starting tomorrow. Think about trying to do this every day. Mm. That, that that that's something I can give you for guys as a tip. Just because I said there will be enough time, don't just slack off for an entire week and expect. Uh, you guys, you'll be able to catch up with all that. I'm, I'm actually not even sure how many di days there are for this event, but it usually uh, is available. That is, should be plenty enough uh, that you guys should be able to do it, even if you miss one or two missions along the way. All right? So that's the first line of events that we have for the exchange. Let's go to the next page. Uh, and here is our last event for Great Desert. This is uh, just a login event. Mm. Just stay for... Easy peasy. How many a long amount of time and you'll be able to get the, the hot time scroll for Great Desert. This is the first time we're seeing this one. 100% great, uh, great Desert hot time for 40 minutes. And you can get that there. And you can get one uh, Owl's Blessed Send 5 minutes, one Owl's Blessed Send 15 minutes, and send 50 Adenis coins. I, maybe, just maybe, I don't, know if, I don't know if the event works this way, but maybe if you just click that button. Uh, to qualify. Yeah, if you just... Sorry, I'll just get out of the way. If you click this button, this button, if you just click this button, maybe it completes the event. I'm not sure how, if, that, if it works that way. If it does, uh, good for you guys. But it's even, possible. E even if not, even if not, 500 Adenas coins is so easy to get, okay? It's so easy to get, but yeah. Um, yeah, so that's how it's going to work. Joel, please give us extract for returning players. Uh, we did give that a full set of that away um, for Calcium Ball, so hopefully you didn't miss that. But yeah, that is the last event that we have for Great Desert. And the one more event that doesn't, we don't have like an image prepared for, uh, we have a 100% hot time. That's right. Uh, backed by popular request, backed by popular demand, um, and a lot of anger in between because. It's know, a more demand than request. So. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like we had the New Year's, we had the New Year's hot time, like 400% or something crazy like that for like December 31st and the, uh, the, the January 1st. And like on the next day, January second, zero percent. It 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 was a it, it was a it was it was a lot of water. It was a lot of cold water. Bittersweet. Yeah, uh, and uh, some people like cold water for the great dust, but it wasn't that kind of cold water. No. It, it, it just kind of drenched you down. You didn't feel good about it, and all that it's hot. Depressing time. water. Yeah, it's it's where the hot time no longer is very hot anymore, and uh, yeah, uh, backed by those mix of popular demand uh -huh. and uh, um, and a lot of. Um, Anger in between. We decided to give hot time back. It was it was very right for us to do so. And how this hot time is going to work? It's going to be a hundred percent server hot time. So it's it's you don't have to use a scroll right. or anything like that. It, it will just automatically be on. And this will be available from midnight to seven p.m. Midnight to seven p.m. every single day for the next two weeks until the the next maintenance comes around. Uh, it's at midnight to seven p.m until the next maintenance, and which is going to be for two weeks, okay? And if you guys want to take maximum advantage of even the hot time, when it ends at 7, you'll be able to go back and do... Yeah, do the Great Desert stuff. Anything else that you want yeah. to do. Uh, I suggest you guys do the Great Desert stuff after the hot time as well. Maybe just put your character in Hadoom for majority of the time from midnight to, to 7 p.m., especially when you're, if you're working, going to school. Uh, keep your Hadoom logged in on that. Then maybe well, after that 7 p.m. is over, when you're at home, just resting. Um, just take, take about that 40 minutes, get, take advantage of that hot time scroll as well. Those are really good too. Um, so yeah, that's something you guys can do. And just so that you know that the, the server hot time does not affect the Great Desert. It only affects Hadoom, Elyon, and stuff like that. So if you guys are thinking about like maybe mm. I should use that, the hot time scroll, the Great Desert hot time scroll, along with the server hot time, it won't combine. It, that's why we have specifically a hot time scroll for the Great Desert. Yep. All right.